My name is Fei Long from Team Columbia Go. I am studying Columbia Business School in New York City, and I am the purchasing manager of our team. As a purchasing manager, my task is to observe our firm's production pattern, learn its raw material demand decisions, then compare several suppliers and choose the most appropriate one, and finally negotiate with suppliers uh, for various purchasing terms. So I'd like to talk about two major problems I encountered during my managing process, as well as the strategies I applied to deal with them. The first problem is about the uneven and stochastic demand of raw materials. Demands for different components from their corresponding suppliers are quite uneven in terms of both value and volume. Demands are also different in nature of volatility as a result of the downstream stochastic demand and the production fluctuations. For demands with high volume or small volatility, I use truck as a transport unit and require lower delivery reliability to reduce cost. For demands with low, low volume or big volatility, I choose pallet to increase the precision and require higher delivery reliability. This turned out to be quite effective. The second problem is that our firm often incurs emergency alarms uh, due to efficient cash, which result in high interest cost. To deal with this problem, I managed to save, or more precisely, delay the consumption of cash by utilizing the credit balance more sufficiently and choosing the payment terms and instruments more carefully. In specific, I checked the historical payable uh, outstanding days and compare them with various payment instruments. For those suppliers with short payable outstanding days, I selected payment instruments that can offer longer pay payment term and set relatively long payment terms with a balance for increased contract index. Next, I want to mention some noteworthy actions I took in order to better fulfill my responsibility. The most important and time-consuming work is to select suppliers for each material component. I took into consider the following major aspects. First is the size and credit rating of supplier, because bigger and certificated companies usually have larger free capacity and offer higher credit limit, which benefits our credit requirement. Second is the location for which I try to pick one with an overall consideration of the modes of transport, the delivery time, and the transport cost. Suppliers living too far away may be cheaper, but that increased delivery time adds to uncertainties for timely uh, procurement. Therefore, such trade-offs were carefully analyzed. Third is the basic index which determines the benchmark cost. With other factors similar, I tended to choose a cheaper supplier. Another thing to mention is the trade-offs in making decisions on delivery reliability and quality. I did it in this way. For those components that have higher demand in production or have shown more rejections, I asked their suppliers for higher delivery reliability and better quality so that we can guarantee a better production adherence and vice versa. Finally, if we are lucky enough to play the finals, I hope to do deeper quantitative study on transport cost. To be specific, there are trade-offs between income term selection versus its impact on the contract index, and between cost per shipment versus a number of other lines. I believe quantitative analysis on income terms and the incurred transport cost can further reduce our total cost and that's a higher ROI.